welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I'm outside today because I thought it is an absolutely beautiful morning and I have to head into the office to upload this video. So I'm at the office. It's got a nice beautiful nature background and I thought that what better time than this beautiful Friday morning to film my way in outside. So welcome. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you are subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do upload most days of the week and we do a weigh-in day every single Friday so you don't want to miss out. So today we are going to talk about the WW workshop topic. I'm going to share my weigh-in with you and we are going to talk about September's goals because I have some pretty hefty goals for the month of September and I want to share them with you for accountability and so that you can follow along on how September goes for me. And then of course, I wanna hear from you what your September goals are. So let's jump in to today's WW weigh-in, September goals, and a workshop topic recap. did this week go? This week, you guys, went fantastic. I was able to get in my workouts like I wanted. My food was actually really, really good this week. I was able to stay within my calories. Speaking of calories, points, goals, let's just jump into September's goals. So I have four goals for the month of September that I am committed to hitting. Goal number one is to drink a gallon of water every single day. And you guys know I drink a lot of water anyways, but I generally just fill up my water cup and move on with my day. So in the month of September, I have a new system to make sure that I'm getting in my gallon of water. I'm going to share that with you guys on Wednesday in my what I eat in a day video, but it is a surefire foolproof way to ensure that I am indeed getting in my gallon of water every day because that is my goal the entire month of September. Goal number two is to lose weight every single week in the month of September. Now you guys know that the scale is not the be all end all for me. I am not wanting to lose two or three pounds a week. Instead, I'm wanting to eat enough calories to make maintain and keep my metabolism stoked and burning because in the end that is what is going to help me keep the weight off once I lose it. So I don't really have a weight loss number goal every single week. You know I have an overall yearly 2020 goal to lose 50 pounds. So I just want to see the scale move every single week in the right direction. So my goal is half of a pound to one and a half pounds a week if I were to put a definitive number on it. But again, I just want to see the scale trend down every single week week in the month of September. Goal number three is to do intentional exercise AKA jazzercise at least three times a week. If I can get in more, fantastic. But I have been consistently going to jazzercise at least three times a week. Some weeks I can make it four times a week, which is amazing. It is such an incredible workout and such a hard workout that I actually do need a day of rest in between. So three to four days a week is my goal. So far, so good even leading up to the month of September, but I am committed to making it to a class a minimum of three times a week. Goal number four is to stay with in my points and calories. As you know, points are not the main thing that I track. My focus is to stay within my calorie range. My calorie range is 1,800 to 2,000 calories a day. That is a deficit for me. That is what I've been eating to keep my metabolism going, but also continue to lose weight. That can be my 34 points a day or my 33 points a day, but that can also be above that, just depending on what foods I choose to eat. I have done a couple videos on how to stay within your points and calories. I will link the most recent what I eat in a week points and calories down below where I was able to stay within my points and reach my caloric goal every single day. So it can be done. But as you know, calories are my primary focus with tracking my points as my secondary metric. So that is my fourth and final goal for the month of September. So I am super excited for the month of September. I feel like it's going to be a fantastic month. I again want to hear from you guys. What are your September goals? Leave them down in the comments so we can root each other on, cheer each other on, and be here for support for each other. Let's jump into this week's workshop topic because honestly, it was a great one and it's about taking 
back your time. In the quarantine, in 2020, it's been quite the year. As we know, it's been interesting, it's been hard, it's been challenging in so many ways, mentally, physically, financially, it's just been a rough year. Some days just drag by and some days fly by. It just depends on kind of where you're at, what you're doing, but there has to be some type of consistency in your day. We all thrive on a schedule or some consistency. So I wanna to talk to you guys about three tips to take back your time. When you feel like time flies and you're just not being as productive as you wanna be in a day, maybe the time is going at a snail's pace but you're still not getting anything done, this is where these tips and tricks are going to come in. So three ways to pinpoint where your time is going is a great way to start to be more productive during the day. Tip number one is to set a schedule, set a routine. I have a very, very strict routine. I know that sometimes life happens and it doesn't work out, but I have a routine every week. For example, Tuesdays is my filming day. I get ready, I film my videos, I edit them, and then I go to Jazzercise at the 5.30 p.m. class. Wednesday is my clean the house day. Thursday Thursday is my grocery shopping day. So that is how my schedule is set. That is my set routine. That way it helps me to get things done, stay productive, and I don't really have to think about it. It's already my schedule, it's my routine, and it's set in place and in motion for me when the new day hits. Number two is create a plan. Create an action plan, create a schedule. If you aren't someone that has set times or set days for certain things, put that into play. You can take baby steps. Maybe pick one day a week that you set yourself up an agenda or a schedule and start there. You don't have to go crazy and hog wild and do the entire week, but start small and try to get something created and set into place for you to be a little bit more productive and take back a little bit more of your time. And the third tip is to not only look ahead at what's coming down the road, but also look back and evaluate and see how you did with your goals. If you set Tuesday as your house cleaning day, did you do that? Were you consistent in cleaning your house on Tuesdays? Or maybe Saturday morning, that's your grocery shopping day. How consistent were you and doing your grocery shopping on Saturday morning. So look ahead to what is planned the next day, but also look back and see if you've actually been able to complete the tasks, the schedule, the agenda you've put into place. And if not, that's a good time to reevaluate it and make sure that it actually fits into your daily life and your schedule. So I really like these tips. I think they are great. I think that setting these three things into motion will really help you just take back a little bit of the time that maybe you lose. Maybe you're a procrastinator. And let me tell you, my husband, I tell him all the time, is the biggest procrastinator ever. I swear. Everything is, I'll do it later. I'll do it tomorrow. If that is you, and there is nothing wrong with that, we all have different personalities, then this is actually a really good thing for you to set yourself up with an agenda so that you can't procrastinate. That is the day and that is the time that you are doing this task. So whatever your personality is, however you go about doing your daily tasks, I still think that this is essential on how to really take back maybe some of the time that isn't as productive. So let's talk again kind of about my week. Let's recap a bit and I'll share my way in. So again, I had a great week with physical exercise and food and I really set these great September goals towards the end of August. I went into September strong. September 1st, I'm on it. I'm at Jazzercise. I'm tracking my food and calories. I'm drinking my gallon of water. I like these little mini goals. It helps keep me on track. So I am thrilled with how September has taken off so far. Speaking of September, I have a very exciting announcement coming your way on Sunday. So stay tuned for Sunday's video. You're not going to want to miss it. It's a very exciting announcement and some ways that maybe I can help you on your health journey. So when I stepped on the scale, I am down 1.2 pounds, which is amazing. That means I have lost for the last, I believe, eight weeks in a row. And that puts me at already 1.2 pounds down in the month of September. Puts me a lot closer to my overall weight loss goal of 50 pounds by the end of the year. I believe I'm in the mid 30s for my weight loss so far in 2020, which is great. I'll take it. I'm doing that, you guys, on 1,800 to 2,000 calories a day, just the way that I want to do it, the healthiest, most sustainable way for me. So I'm thrilled with the 1.2. I can't wait to see what happens next week on the scale. So yay me. So again, I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. What are your September goals? I also want to hear how this last week went for you. How do you feel things went overall? Are you off to a positive start in the month of September? Just leave it all down in the comment section below for me. Also, if you are new, again, make sure that you're subscribed and that your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. And give this one a big thumbs up if you enjoy these weigh-ins, especially if you enjoy a scenic background instead of me in my car. I know you guys prefer the videos not filmed in the car, so I'm going to 
to do my best to either film them at home or film them outside if possible. Of course, there will be times that I do have to film in my car, but I'm gonna try to change up the scenery for you because you guys seem to really, really enjoy that. So that is everything for me. Stay tuned for tomorrow's grocery haul. As you know, I've been in a use it up challenge for the last two weeks and let me just tell you, I've used it up. I literally hardly have any food. In fact, I had to make Troy stop at the grocery store to get eggs the other day for the dinner recipe. So I definitely need to do some grocery shopping. It's my monthly Costco haul. So you're going to see quite a large haul tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. Happy Friday and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>